what you're thinking. Yes, you're right. Today, I'm gonna break this laptop into pieces and show you what's inside. Once again, welcome back to Kamal Fable. We all use computers, we all use laptops, but we don't know what's inside and how to fix it when it goes wrong. Oh wait, forgot to tell you one thing. We're not gonna break it the way you're thinking, but we're gonna break it in a different way. Come on guys, let's have a closer look. Before doing anything, let's make sure the laptop is turned off. Hold the power button for a few seconds and wait until the screen goes off. See, now it's turned off. Flip your laptop and look for an SD card slot. There's one, gently press it and it should come out. This is a standard card, but we also have mini and micro versions. It's an external wireless adapter. Let's pull it out. These type of adapters are available online. You can try one if you have problems with Wi-Fi. Next step is to release the battery. Most of them are located at the bottom of the laptop. Release the lock, pull the knob to get the battery out. There's the battery. If you have problem with your laptop battery, you can replace it yourself. All you need to know is your model number. Removing the keyboard is very simple. There are little knobs on the side. Removing them will release the keyboard. Let's do it. Don't fully remove it. There's something attached. See, we need to remove that in order to fully remove the keyboard. That's done. Now, the keyboard is removed. If you have problems with your keyboard, you can easily replace it. All you need to know is your laptop model. Next, I'm going to show you how to remove the optical drive. Most of them are located at the right hand side. All you need to do is locate the screws and remove them. Let's remove this. It came out. Now, push this gently and note, make sure to not click the wires. There, the optical drive now comes out. If you have problems with your optical drive, you can replace it yourself. All you need to know is your model number. I want to show you how to remove the internal wireless adapter. Let's unscrew this. Let's see. It came out. Uh-oh, there's no internal wireless adapter, I guess. That's why this laptop has an external wireless adapter. Next, I'm going to show you how to remove the RAM. Let's unscrew this. Let's see. Let's remove this. This is a DDR3 RAM. Now these new model computers come with DDR4 RAM. If you want to upgrade your RAM, this is how you do it. It's very simple. You have additional slots. Next, I'm going to show you how to remove the hard disk. Let's unscrew these areas. Let's This is an old model hard drive with moving parts. Nowadays, computers come with solid state drive. Next, I'm going to show you how to remove the CMOS battery. All you need to do is gently pull this area out.
This is a CMOS battery. Removing it may reset the BIOS. Now we have removed all major components except processor, mainboard and display. Wow, we did it! Come on guys, let's put it back together and see if it works. Let's put the optical drive first. Now let's put back the keyboard. The keyboard is in. Next we're gonna put the CMOS battery. Let's flip the laptop first. Next, we're going to put the hard disk. Next, we're gonna put the RAM. Gently press it. Now. Let's close this empty wireless adapter slot. Next, let's put the battery back. Now, close the lock. Next, let's put the SD card back. And now, the wireless adapter. Now, let's flip the laptop and see if it works. We did it, guys! Wow, we did it! See? The laptop is turning on again. Wow, it's working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!